Welcome back to Let's Try. Today I'm going to show you how I edit graphics using Canva. I got my graphics from Creative Fabrica, the link will be below. I clicked on download, head over to my downloads folder, right click, extract all, extract and choose my graphic. Then I went to canva.com, click on create a design, I am choosing t-shirt, then simply drag and drop. When it is uploaded, click it and it will show up on your canvas. Now it's time to start editing. Click on the graphic. And on the top left hand corner, you will see edit image. After clicking, you will see PG remover or background remover. Now because this graphic is transparent, it's a transparent PNG, nothing will change. However, you will see an erase tool. Choose a brush size you are comfortable with and erase whatever you want to remove. When you are done, click on done and then click on apply. If you notice your image looking distorted, don't worry, it will not stay that way. Now to personalize, click on text and then text box. To turn to font type, click here and Canva will show you the fonts available. They are sorted by types here, or you could be arrows, you'll see, and you can also search by name. To change the color, simply click on the A and the top bar. Canva also has a feature where you can choose the colors from your image and they also have an eyedropper too. You have the choice of changing your text to one color or multiple colors as I am doing now. Click on the plus sign, you can add colors, you can create colors. You can change the shade of colors. to use one of the effect features to curve my text click on curve and adjust as you like with this bar to ensure that the graphic is in the middle of our canvas Click on position and click on middle and it will go to the middle of the canvas and center for it to go to the center of the canvas. If the center is already grayed out, it means that the graphic is already centered. Now to make my text look retro like the rest of my graphics, I typed in grainy in elements and I adjusted the size to cover the name matter. And then I change the color to white to match the rest of my design.
you can search any other things that you would like to add in elements I added this element three times to make it look as retro as the rest of my design another tip if you have a design where the words are not too close to the graphic itself simply add your design to canvas and adjust the box around like this and you will no longer see the width and you can go through the same steps as to add in text thank you for watching hope this video was helpful be sure to like share and subscribe and i will see you next time bye